All right. Hello. I've got the top eight lists from the Florida qualifier here. Thanks to Two Fluent and running the event and getting the deck list out. This is the top eight. Uh, eighth place here is Fury Road. Um, not so much to say here. It's the solid Fire Earth package with the Sorcerer draw, draw behind it. Uh, Gigantism and Flame Wave. Wicked Witch is good for the mirror. Um, I really like Taurus Trinket in these kind of lists just because it helps with the trading aspect of it. Um, seventh place here, uh, Endo was an Avatar of Earth list, which is awesome to see. Um, playing a lot of the cores, which is a little different than a lot of the Avatar of Earth lists I see. Uh, Stone is a little iffy here, I think, just because you only get the one discount each turn, but it's still very good. Um, trolls for the early aggression. Frontier Settlers I find a little weird because they have to sit and wait a whole turn to do something. In that time, they could be removed or in, in any number of ways, but if they work out, they work out really well, playing two sides a turn. Um, Pudge Butcher is a big old mean minion. Um, Atlas Wanderers is key to the Avatar of Earth like strategy of getting in and attacking. Um, Divine Healing is... Makes a lot of sense in Avatar of Earth. It plays very similar to Battle Mage, where you just take a lot of extra chip damage because you're so far into their um, site placement and just being aggressive. Um, Earthquake to clear the board of little minions and rearrange those sites. Um, we have a Geomancer here at the sixth place. Uh, heavy on the Earth minions for crusade makes a lot of sense iron shackles for disabling which is an okay uh an okay removal spell but it can be disenchanted or buried or removed in some other way um again with the frontier settlers land surveyors make sure you hit land drops consistently so you can just keep drawing spells makes a lot of sense um royal bodyguard is a good uh utility creature craterize is a huge spell and then this is also a Roots deck. I think Geomancer is probably my favorite Roots um, avatar, just because when you turn everything rubble, you just get that immense card advantage off the top, and it's hard for an opponent to keep up. Here for number five is another Avatar of Earth deck. Um, this one is playing a little extra number of spells, but very similar to the, the seventh place list. Um, Pudge Butcher for a big threat. Hounds is just a hard minion to deal with. You have to do damage to it. You can't bury it. You can't submerge it. Um, it's only damage-based removal. Um, playing all the cores and a stone. I, I guess it worked out well for him. Uh, Lightning Bolt for a finisher. And that's where I, I moved my list to an avatar of Earth and Fire. Um, because Fire has so many ways to finish the game. Uh... That's why I was feeling it was hard with the Avatar of Earth and Air uh, lists, but solid list. Um, Rudasaurus, uh, Sorcerer, Atlantean Fate is probably one of the best spells in the game. Removing the threshold of your opponent is is very good. Um, makes a lot of sense for the for a splash. Tor's Hammer is a great great card just that extra power makes the trading so much better um playing the giant test dragon ads vile imp no uh no calls from kobolds but took took it to top four so nice job uh and third place is a wolf's deck look at this uh 25 gray wolves um last week on the channel i played against this deck and the only reason i survived is because i had a, a disabling minion um to disable all the, all the wolves, but this can get out of hand really, really, really fast, um, and probably got a lot of people, so that's awesome. Nice job. Second place here, um, Death Speaker List. This is, I think, very similar to the West Virginian uh, second place finish um, list, playing all the cores and a mechanism. Uh, Trying to evil presence your 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 spirits 
um, with hounds and shades and princess wizards, and this is has the Cloud City. That's right, and the Cloud City can be really oppressive if you can lock somebody into a corner and only play six sites. Um, Lord of the Void starts eating their sites, so a pretty good control list. And first place here is another sorcerer is a sorcerer list, but playing the spirits package um, with Rule of Thule and Lantian Fate. Lantian Fate is so punishing uh, against so many decks. I'd, I'd watch out for that in the future. Um, those are the lists. I'll have these in the description, and we'll move over to um, some card counts and data. The most popular card played by percent was Onyx Core. So seven out of the eight decks played played an Onyx Core, which it's probably one of the better cores right now, um, just because Earth is such a solid solid minion package. Um, Lightning Bolt is just a solid removal and finishing spell. Uh, we'll see here what's the top. We'll go Elite. Top Elite is Earthquake Re movement. And kind of pseudo movement with a earthquake is better than most people think. Yes, earthquake kills everything, but being able to rearrange sites the way you want them is a great, great power to have. Um, Hounds is a, a really hard to kill minion. Nimbus Jin can just win games out of nowhere. Flame Wave is a one of the best finishers because there's no hiding from it. Uh, we'll go to exceptionals now. Top exceptional here, uh, Frontier Settlers, if they survive that extra turn, you get an extra sight, and you can just start running away with it. Um, Root Spider, I believe, is probably the best minion in the game. It turns off so many other effects. Um, on Unicorn is just really, really good on rate. Same thing with Phalanx, and makes a lot of sense here. And all Earth on the top six uh, exceptionals here. Uh, top ordinary here, Lightning Bolt and Barry, premium removal spells. Boss Troll is a early, early threat. A threat on one, like play a land and play a, a minion, is really awkward in this game because it plays it on your back row, and it still takes an extra turn to move it up. Um, so you can't attack turn two. Turn two is where you can apply pressure. A two-drop minion is more valuable than a one drop minion in this game i believe so you want to spend be spending your first turn either playing a core or a mix or some kind of setup turn two play an aggressive minion top uniques here uh onyx core like just the the most played spell by percent um gigantism that plus, what was it, plus six or seven, <laughs> is a huge swing in a lot of a lot of matches. So it's a it takes it speeds your turn cycle or turn math up by one, and usually that can be enough to to win the game. And Atlantean Fate here, the top two decks, and playing Atlantean Fate to shut off thresholds, kill minions, it is punishing. So the way you play around this is Bedrock is a great site and. With the popularity of Roots, Bedrock might go up. And then playing Ordinary Sites. If you don't get too greedy with your mana base, playing a Humble Village, you're, it won't be flooded and won't be submerged. So, And then Grim Reaper, if you can give this thing haste or attack with it the turn it comes out, it is super punishing as well. In the top site here, Pill of Zeros. Pill of Zeros, even if you're not an Earth deck, the ability to exile graveyards and heal off of that is a huge swing against a lot of Death Speaker decks. Um, if you're not playing Earth, just splash uh, Pillars of Zeros, even if you don't need it, the threshold. Uh, the effect is that good. And Mirror Realm could fix any number of threshold issues, could copy your opponent's site if you have if they have a utility land that you need or could use 
I feel like Pil uh, Mirror Realm is not included in 98% of decks. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, some events I'm going to here in the future. I'm going to Midland Mayhem. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Um, pretty sure that's in May. Um, I'm planning on going to Gen Con for Sorcery. And the Sorcery Social is still up in the air for me. I also had an event this Saturday um, in Cincinnati, Ohio. There was about 16 people there. Um, the winning list was an Enchantress list. Um, if you go out to the Discord, the Sorcery League Discord, I posted some, some text lists there. So check that out, and thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching.